Right. So here is a small section now on uh, transposes and symmetric matrices. So seems a very simple thing, but this is a incredibly important, beautiful part of all of linear algebra. It will help us enormously with um, AX equals B, which is our um, best friend in this course, or sworn enemy, depending on how you want to look at it. And uh, but anyway, something that we are adjacent to. So I've kind of started things off here. Uh, I'll just give definitions, a few properties, and then explain one of the more uh, difficult properties in, a, in, a, in the next piece. So transposes the, the word here. We've had some already, and I've kind of alluded to this, but we're going to talk about it properly. Um, and then symmetric matrices. And we love these things. They are awesome. OK, so. Some of these properties are strange, which is what you should have come to expect by this point. So the definition is simple. Transpose of A uh, is A flipped about the main diagonal. That's the main diagonal. It's just go down one, across one, down one, across one, down one. And it doesn't matter if it's rectangular. You just imagine that that uh, diagonal goes on forever. All right. So I'm just gonna, that's, a, that's a nice piece there. Um, and so, and this is so another way to see things are, is that the uh, first column of A becomes the first row of A transpose and vice versa. I think I got that right. Yeah, so the seventh row of A becomes the seventh column of A transpose. Uh, A transpose transpose is A, right? So if you do it twice, it comes back. And this is really the, the only, so let's look at a couple of examples. This is really the only kind of this is the main symmetry of a matrix, right? It's a box of numbers that could be symmetric this way or this way, or maybe on these diagonals. This turns out to be the thing. Rows and columns matter so much. So here's an example. It's a two, always good to write this in, two by three, right? M by N. So you flip it, the dimensions change. This becomes a three by two, three rows, two columns. And so very simple, boom. That's the first row, becomes the first column. Second row becomes the second column. And if you want, you can go back and uh, to think of it as this. First row, uh, first column becomes a row, right? And these columns become the second and third rows. So that seems pretty simple. So, right, and as I said, we could have done something where we flipped them this way or something else, but this, this is going to matter the most. And so here's a... So square matrices, so of course rectangular matrices, non-square matrices change shape. Rectangular matrices don't. Um, so the diagonal always stays the same. There was a diagonal here that stayed the same, so that's true. But then uh, right, it, it, runs, it runs into a wall. So for a 2 by 2 it's simple, 7, 8, and 9 here, the, the off diagonals just swap. Uh, and so if we, we want to write the definition, we'll use this notation. This is the... Yeah, we'll have to use this for some proofs. Uh, a transpose, the ijth entry of the transpose of A is the jith entry of A. Right. So what's sitting in, so here's an example for this, right, so down here, this, this is an example for this matrix. That's important. Um, uh, yeah, for this matrix, uh, A, if we call this A here, right, so the entry to 1 in A is a minus 1. And that is the entry one, two, right? So two, one, second row, first column. And then that's here. And then uh, first row, second column. Boom. So it's been swapped. So those things are swapped. So they're minus one. Good. So just a statement here that this will become, this is a, it's a big deal, right? It's a big deal. Just telling you it's a big deal. And I think I can show you a little bit now of why that might be true. It's not obvious, perhaps, but, but even for, Rectangular matrices, um, the transpose will matter, and then there's a very so okay. So here's a here's the next thing that is a big deal here. So we've got transposes, so we're flipping our matrices around. If we've got a a square matrix and it's uh, transposes, if you take its transpose and you get the same matrix back, we call it symmetric. So this is the symmetry we're interested in. So if A equals A transpose, which necessarily means 
right, so that means a must be square, so I'll just put that here, it means a must be square. Yeah, yeah. It means must be square, then uh, we, we call, we say a is symmetric. We jump up and down. It's symmetric, this is the word. Very important word, symmetric. Uh, and we are very happy. We are very happy. See the happiness. Feel the happiness. Very happy. Again, very, very important um, kind of matrix. So these are really super special. Super, 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 super special matrices. We love them so much that we will make other matrices um, become symmetric by doing horrible things to them. Okay, so a couple of properties. And after, after a fact, you'll see that. Properties. Okay, so simple thing uh, would be A plus B, right? So if we, A plus B. Add them together, take the transpose. Well, you can take the transposes first. This is not a big surprise. Right? That's fine. Good. Easy. Uh, this thing, so one that we're usually interested in is this equals what? So this is an interesting thing to think about. So let's let's zoom in on this a little. Uh, let's make this an m by q, and then a q by n. So these characters match up. They match, and we the resulting matrix is an m by n shape. Right, so let's allow them to be rectangular because we want to see if there's a general uh, result here. First of all, could it be A transpose B transpose? That would be nice and simple. This thing with the transpose, what's its shape? It's Q by M. And this thing is N by Q, right? So we swap the dimensions. So this is only possible if M and N are the same, so this can't be general. So this is a question mark here. Can't be general. Could happen. I mean, if A, A uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it could be, I mean, A is the identity and B is the identity, then this is going to be true, right? But that's not a very exciting result. Um, we could think of all the possible ones for which this is true, but that's not what we're doing yet. Let's see how much more room. Okay, um, so that's not really good. We've seen this happen before, right, with inverses, the uh, order changes. So let's just sort of see if the dimensions are correct. So um, this would be an n by q, and this would be a q by n. M. So the whole thing would have the dimensions um, n by m. All right, they match and we get n by m. And in fact, if we go back to here and we include the transpose, maybe a different thing. So with the transpose, this is an n by m. So these are the right dimensions at least. Sorry about the other. So these are the right dimensions. So that's good. And in fact, and this is going to be the next piece, it's true. This is true. This is actually true. Always true. For some reason, people get a little confused with this, but I, this is just true. Okay, you should remember this. Bake it into your head. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give some reasons for why in the, in the next um, piece, as I said. So that is a big deal. So let me let me put that on another slide here. So very important. So A, B transpose equals B transpose A transpose. Good. Let's put it in a box because we're so excited about it. Um, proof is later, okay? Okay. 
proof later. Okay. That's a good thing. So let's just use that for now uh, in a couple of more uh, observations. So a couple other things to think about. So what about the inverse? What about uh, the transpose of the inverse? So we have, right, we can, we can, now we've got this result for multiplication, we can play around with other things. So, so we know by the definition of the inverse that this is true, equals the identity, and we could multiply a times a to the minus one. Crushingly good. So we can take the transpose of all of these things. So take transposes. So we're investigating a matrix investigation. Uh, just boom, just wrap a transpose onto all of these. What is the transpose of the identity? What's the transpose of anything that only has that square diagonal matrix only has non-zero numbers on the diagonal? It is itself, right? So this is the identity. Boop, doesn't change anything. We're going to use our result here, right? A, B, transpose. We reverse the order and take transpose of each one. So this will be, let me get rid of that. So, um, yeah. So we put the A to the minus one at the front. That's our B in this case, from that formula, transpose. And then we put the A at, in second position like this. And we'll do it over here as well. So the A comes to the front, gets a transpose, and this one comes to the second position and also gets a transpose. All of these things are equal still. So what is this? This says that uh, here's A transpose, here's A transpose, and here's a blob, and the same blob here. This is exactly the expression for an inverse. So we have that the inverse of A transpose is equal to this blob. It's the transpose of the inverse. So those operations can be um, changed in order. Right. That's, that's good. That might not have happened, but that's good. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay, that's just about inverses. So I'm going to put this in a little, let's uh, sort of cordon that off. Here's an extra thing that happens. Uh, if A equals A transpose, that's just kind of how we'll write that it's symmetric. So if A is A transpose, then, um, then we have this result, that A transpose minus 1, just repeating what we have, this is A minus 1 transpose, right? This is just from above then this is A. This happens a lot, this sort of thing, right? We're just going to replace it with, yeah? So this says that right, so these things are the same. So the transpose of the inverse of A is the same as A to the minus 1. Right? So in other words, what are we quite saying there? So the, uh, the inverse of A transpose is the inverse of A, right? which is to say um, if A is symmetric, it's inverse is symmetric. Right? So if A is symmetric, so that's nice, so is its inverse. So there are lots of nice little things. So if, you're, if you've got a symmetric matrix and you find its inverse, you should expect to see uh, a symmetric matrix popping out. That's a good thing. So there's a bunch of little results. Um, so these, so, so, crazily uh, important objects. These will matter a lot. And this is towards the end of the semester. Uh, a, or the course, A transpose A and A, A transpose. What are these things? So 
this is m by n, this is an n by m, and here it is again, m by m, and m by n, so the dimensions match up, right, m by m, so this whole thing is an n by n, and this whole thing is an m by m. So these are, so we've taken, so these could be rectangular, right, and we're taking square matrices. So crazily important objects, so these are square matrices. Very important. Any rectangular matrix, you can do this, square matrices. Um, well, they will just naturally appear, and I'm not going to tell you why, right? A doesn't have to be square. So it turns out these are really important things to do with A. So let's just check a nice property of them. So let's just take one of them. A transpose A transpose. Let's see what it does. This is the way you check for symmetry. You take your blob, take its transpose, use the rules in the right way. So it's going to be the second, the second piece comes first, A, and we take the transpose. And then the first piece comes afterwards, and it's A transpose transpose. What is that? It's A again, right? So this is A transpose A. Right? Cancel, if you like, or un they, you know, um, they un undo each other, right? Undo the transpose, if you like. So this blob, take its transpose, you get the same thing back. So A transpose A is always symmetric. That is charmingly wonderful. It's really nice. Ah, it makes you weep with happiness. So if you want to take a moment, just pause. Uh, okay, and you can, and I'm sure you've just done it because it was fun, uh, check. This is true for, it has to be, because there's nothing special about A as well. Different shape, right? So if A's a thin, long, say, flat rectangle, then these two constructions are quite different. Right? One of them is m by m, uh, the other one is m by n. <coughs> so one would be quite big, one could be quite small, sort of thing. Okay, so um, maybe I'll, I'll just write down some examples for you. So uh, let's take, yeah, so an example. So a equals minus one, zero. Hmm, nice. 0, 1, yes, very nutritious. And then A transpose A, right, so this is a 3 by 2, right, so this should end up as a 2 by 2, yeah, and it does. If you go through the calculation, you'll get this. And then A, a transpose will end up as a 3 by 3, expand, uh, 1 minus 1, 0, minus 1, Two, one, zero, one, one. Boom. Pretty awesome. So they're symmetric. Let's see them. Let's see their symmetricness. Right? It doesn't matter what's on the diagonal, main diagonal. Uh, they are symmetric. Boom. 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 And finally one more. Boom. Awesome. Guarantee. It doesn't matter how big A is. Pretty cool. Okay. That's a good thing. Um, one last piece, I think we should say. Yeah, all right. Okay, good. I'll give you this as well. A little bit abstract, but all these things will matter. Uh, so the inner product, hmm, which is built in to how we work with matrices. So A transpose B. I mean, we've kind of talked about this, but this is, so it looks like, I just draw it, right, row vector, so this is, a, this is of course how we do row vectors, row vector, by default everything is a column vector, so the inner product look like, looks like this, which is, right, it's a, top, it's a number, right, it's just a number, so let's take, what happens if we do this? Hmm. 
what happens here with this. Take the so again, transpose, we've got this rule. B comes to here, we put a transpose with it. This A comes over to here, transpose, transpose. I should maybe put a little line here. And then uh, this is B transpose A. So it's fine, it looks like this again. It's got the right shape. And again, it's just a number. It doesn't matter which order you put them in, right? So this is a, uh, uh, a one by n with the transpose and an n by one, the whole thing is a one by one. Transpose of a one by one is the same. Okay, so let's go ahead to a slightly more advanced, more advanced in a producting, where it fell apart, advanced uh, in a producting, ah yes, good. Let's say we have uh, AX and Y. So this is a, this is some transformed, right? So this is a trans, think of this as A is being a gadget here, transforming of X. Right, and we, we want to take the dot product of these two things. It shows you how similar they are. Um, so this is some, I guess maybe I should write transformation. Uh, some transformation of X. So let's take their dot product and look at what happens. Doesn't matter which order we do it in, but we have to take the transpose of one and then multiply it by Y. So row vector times column vector. Well, this is a, these are two matrices multiplied together. So just sort of an example here. This is multiplied together and we have a transpose so we can change their order. Right, so that's, that's what's happened. This has gone to here and this has gone to here and I should put in my transpose. Yep, yeah, good. Right, so this is now X transpose AY. So the inner product of, of this blob, um, AX and Y, so this is, this is now the inner product of, we see it, of X and A transpose Y. Right, so you can either transform X with A or Y with, right, so, transform y with the transpose, a transpose first. You get the same result. That's a, that appears a lot in, in, in many kinds of mathematics. You can, you can move the operator from one vector to the other by, in this case, a transposition. Now that there are more um, advanced ways of thinking about that and talking about that, but that's a adjoint operators and so on. So, but it's a nice, it's a nice thing. All right. So, uh, I think that's a, it's a good place to stop. So, uh, yeah, right. We've got a number of pages here, all on transposes and symmetric matrices. Transpose is simple in definition, symmetric matrix, simple in definition. Um, right. Just if we take the transpose and we get a back, it's symmetric. Turns out these matrices appear, um, all over the place, and they have very, very good properties. Right. Uh, you can add two matrices together and take their transpose, or oh, I, I've, I've, I need to clean this up. This is a a bad thing. Uh, I need this. Yeah, I'm missing a plus sign. That's a plus B transpose. Right. Thank you. Um, okay, there's that. Just good. We went back. And we looked at this a little bit, right? So this just, and, and it's another piece, AB transpose turns out to be B, A transpose, B transpose, A transpose. So carry that through. You, we used it in a number of ways just now. We found out what the, the inverse of A's um, transpose was like and what happens when it's symmetric, good things. And then these two creatures here, super important. Any two rectangular matrix, any rectangular matrix, take its transpose, multiply in either of those orders, you get a square matrix that is symmetric, guaranteed. 
that's pretty great. And then uh, we had a little extra piece here about uh, inner products. Okay, so we're getting this. We're getting through a lot of this first section um, before we move on to vector spaces and and uh, this much deeper kind of understanding of x equals b. But this is setting us up in a good way. All right, one more piece, and that's about where uh, where this result. Um, where this result can be, um, where it comes from, and how we can prove it to ourselves. All right.